this has been a very difficult week and I'm still coming to terms with my mother passing away and me attending her wake and funeral. It just seems a bit strange right now. I don't, I don't know whether it's gone through me or how I'm feeling right now. I just, I'm still having a lot of emotions about this and it's not great, but I am dealing with that. I loved my mother even though she really didn't say it but I did love her and the intentions were there and everything that she did was there but I think she just didn't say the words which is something that I always struggled that why couldn't you say those words I love you um, but I think she was from a different culture and it was a bit strange because you don't really express your emotions. So I do get that, but I would have liked those words. It is sad that I am leaving New York and leaving things behind. I'm, I'm not leaving her behind, I'm just going back to my life back in the UK and it's been very difficult to be in New York confronting lots of different things and death is pretty difficult to deal with I really didn't know what to expect from it and it's probably going to manifest in many different ways so there's no really, so there's no point in second guessing how it's going to turn out. I think it's different for each individual and for me it has been very difficult. But I'm sure I will get through this and I am looking forward to my flight to London this evening and... I'm very grateful to have been to the Waker funeral and and I hope I do get some closure and some peace from this tragic event that happened in my life. It's a month now since my mom's passing and I I'm still coping. I am still coping with the loss. I have good days, I have bad days. I am seeking counseling. Um, I've spoken to friends, I've spoken to family, I've spoken to counselors, and I'm seeking help still currently. I can't believe how quickly this month has gone, but I think that things are becoming more real, and I've watched my eulogy a few times. I cannot watch it anymore because I will forever be reliving that day, and I can't put myself through that trauma. <sighs> Losing a parent is very difficult. I think nothing can prepare you for it. I think I've said to a few people in the past already that that was like the worst week of my life and it was just really difficult to go through that and look after my dad and I think it was just very, very difficult. I still find it difficult to talk about it. I am opening up, but 
I think this hollowness and this emptiness and this depressed state comes over me all of a sudden for no reason. And I do need to learn how to deal with it and to cope with it. And I'm not saying move on, but try to overcome it. So since my mom's passing, I have come out I think a couple of times. This is the first time that I am going jogging, running, um, and I've done about four laps. I think this might be my fifth lap of combination jogging and running, and I think that the fresh air is helping me deal with it. And and I think this is the way to cope with this loss and to get over it and to try to cope with it basically so I'm going to continue to do this and fill you in on what's developing next time well I have come to the park for an early morning run and walk and I think for the most part this park is fairly empty because it is about 9.30 in the morning and I think this is a good way to start my day and to work out any kinks and any stress that I do have. I think that I'm still having trouble dealing with my mom's passing and every little thing that I do such as like walks or runs and like um writing and also tv and stuff I think it does add to me feeling better in the long run which is a very positive thing because grief and loss is going to be taking some time it's only been a month so far and it's still rather hard for me to deal with it I have moments where I feel really down and then I have moments where I don't feel as down and then there are moments that I don't want to do anything and then there are moments I do want to do something so I think right now I do want to be out and get some fresh air into my lungs and so that's what I'm doing I don't know how many laps I'm gonna do I think maybe just three because I don't think it's a good idea to push yourself too much. Um, but yeah, it's a struggle and it's like a constant battle that I am going through. Um, internalized um, struggle. But I think it's a really nice day to be out and about and I think I have no reason not to be out right now and the weather is going up to about 19, 20 degrees today. So I think today is a perfect day for me to be out in the morning. I was up early and so yeah, for those of you that are going through anything similar like a bereavement or something like that, I think it's important to take time for yourself and to be kind to yourself and to let yourself grieve and to do small things like walks and jogs and listening to music or yoga or anything you could do to relax, you should definitely do it because because it will go a long way to helping the grooming and I'm not an expert but it has helped me thus far and it's a really nice day and I think I'm going to enjoy the rest of my walk now so thank you very much and i will fill you guys in on another day of my diary well this is a lovely sunday morning and i have decided to get up get out because i am um a lark not a night owl and i think it's best to make the most of the day especially when the weather is very changeable in London, so I have the park 
mostly to myself there isn't a lot of people here out at the moment which is a good thing because the last thing I want to do is to keep avoiding people and to say excuse me when I'm running past them so I think this is a rather nice day to start my day and to um, get rid of any stress and anxiety that I do have um, no, it's still um, work in progress. Um, loss of a loved one, my mom in, in my case. And I know this is a journey, but I kind of want this journey to end already and I want to feel better already. But I think these are really good steps to help me along the way to get better and to cope better with the loss. Um, I find that jogging is quite useful and helpful for me. Um, I think it gives me a time to not really think or obsess about these things and that is a really good thing when it comes to loss, to keep your mind occupied. So yeah, uh, so that's it for now from um, the park here. The birds are loving it and so am I and I'll fill you guys in on the next one. Well, this is a lovely early May spring Sunday morning and the sun's out and this is ideal jogging weather so i've done about so i've done about two miles so far and i think it's it was good to finally do things again after um all this time to get back into the swing of things and let off some endorphins and do something for myself and to be active and to be healthy again so that's what I'm doing I think that I am trying to handle the bereavement and the passing of my mom um yeah I like I've heard from everyone it takes a time and sometimes it takes a long time so I just need to be patient with that but I think that the jogging does help and um, and I believe that my mom would want me to move on and to also not be sad because I don't think any parent would want that for the children that they leave behind. So, this jog was for me, for my well-being, for my health, and to try to get back to be normal again. Even though I really don't know what normal is at this point, after the loss. But one day at a time, as the cliche goes and yeah um i will post more in my next um video that i do well i haven't really been exercising too much recently i think i've just not been motivated and i think that the weather has it's been either too cool, too wet, or whatever. I think I've just been making excuses for myself, so that's one of the reasons why I haven't been doing my exercises. But I don't think that's a really good enough excuse right now because the weather is nice out and I don't really have an excuse. It is busy right now because the schools have gotten out and the kids are about it. Is it too hot or too cold? So I think right now is the perfect time to be 
going in for the run. So I will be doing that. Um, and I think I am getting over my mom's passing, but it is day by day and I am getting over things, but it takes as long as it takes and how long is a piece of string? That's one of the famous things that um, a counselor has said to me. So I think I will be patient, but it is a long process. Well, I have done about two miles right now in this park. I think this is good enough for me to um, get started in this routine of jogging again and to try it again. Yes, I know human nature is to stop doing it when it gets tough or when it gets hot when it gets too cold like always having an excuse but I think I'm trying not to do that so so why don't we see how this goes but I think two miles is a good effort for one day especially since I also had work today and I'm enjoying this and it is a nice day so I am going to just about go home now. It's not about how much you do, but the quality. And I think the quality was quite good today. It's the Sunday of the late May bank holiday weekend, and it's been two and a half weeks since I had my tooth out. And the gum has not really settled down to my satisfaction yet. And I have been a bit worried about it. So I did phone the dental surgery on Tuesday of last week, which was 12 days after the tooth came out and said that the gum felt quite mushy and that I could taste bacteria. Now the bacteria seems to have settled down a bit. The gum is still a bit squishy and it feels a little bit kind of sore to the touch. I haven't eaten on that side yet. So the surgery did say that if I was still worried about it, one week from then, which is Tuesday to come, then that I should contact them. So that's in two days time. We'll see how it goes. But I don't know if this is like a pure coincidence or something, but just this past week, Paul, what has happened to you? I've had to go in to the surgery. I saw my dentist on, uh, on that day. They did say to me that there was a bit of recession from the gum and the gum is the thing that is causing the issue with my tooth. So unfortunately, I am going to have to have my tooth taken out because of the pain that the gum is causing. And it is as a result of um, years of neglect back then because I think I wasn't um, having good gum hygiene back when I was growing up. So I lay that as to blame right now. Um, I am reluctantly going to have the tooth taken out because I think otherwise it would be painful in the future. And the doctor or the dentist did say to me that um, I am getting this a lot earlier than this because they have caught my at a much earlier stage. But the thing is, you only had the toothache from this week. It just suddenly started and it, yeah. everything just seemed to go so quickly. You saw yeah. the dentist, you just made the, got the yeah. emergency appointment yeah. and yeah. now it's been taken out this week. And it's a, it's a lower molar. It's not the one right at the back. It's the one next it's to the it. right hand side of the one uh, next to it. I had the back molar taken out. So that's our update and it's starting to rain here. It's it's, it's May. Right. You would think that we would be having good weather. <laughs> but, oh bad. no. Oh no. But we will update you. And this is a unique piece of footage because this particular bit will be appearing in both my health episode and in Paul's health episode, which you'll be watching in September. And by then, hopefully, all our no teeth issues will have settled down. Fingers crossed. All right, let's go. 
We had a lovely time in Marseille. However, it was dampened by the heat and humidity, which also brought about all these flying insects in our hotel room. So I did get quite a few bites. One here, one here on my uh, hand. Um, a few of them dotted. There's one right in my inner thigh. There's a couple here. There's like one over here. And then in various other places as well that I shouldn't be showing. So we went to Helling the Hospital after we got off the flight from Marseille. Uh, queued for about one hour 30. Originally saw the triage nurse and then I did see the consultant later on. She gave me a hydrocortisone cream and I am going to be applying this to all the itchy areas, I think twice a day, twice daily, I think. Yep, this one's twice daily. And then she also told me to get Loratadine, L-O-R-A-T-A-D-I-N-E. So this is like an antihistamine that I take orally and I just take it once a day. With, with both these things, she said to take it up until the point that the symptoms go away. So if, so if they do go away, <laughs> I'm going to stop taking them. Um, because it is always a good thing to follow the doctor's instructions and do not um, abuse the medication. The optometrist did not think that it was glaucoma. So I think I am safe for now and i think i would probably have to go back in a year's time from now so i've noticed a lump on my testicle i don't know whether it is a bite or whether it is something more sinister and serious so i am going to the gp surgery this morning to see what he thinks about it all i think it's pretty scary when you hear about testicular cancer because men don't really like to get checked and um, it's not something that men really do. So it's, if in doubt, it is a really good idea to go to the GP surgery because it is important not to self-diagnose and to seek medical treatment if you require it. So I did come out of the doctor's surgery and it isn't anything sinister. It is a skin lump. So it just so happens that it is down by the testicle area, which is kind of why there was a concern for my part. But having said that, everything seems to be on track and it's just a skin bump that you would get from shaving and so it's perfectly natural and hopefully that will be all about that and I could be a little bit more relieved now. Well, I decided to come out for a lovely jog. I did that without jogging for I think maybe two weeks and I think I've fallen back into that slump again where I don't really want to do much exercise and I think the weather's just been rotten and I've been finding every excuse. But I decided against sitting on the couch and watching TV. Um, so yeah, this is the week of Wimbledon and it's semi-finals day. So this is the Thursday of Wimbledon, the second Thursday. And the weather has been quite cold recently, but I think Today it's nice and sunny and it's a little humid right now so that's why I'm underneath this tree right now. Um so so yeah I've been a little um unmotivated and I've just been a couch potato at home. Um I am still going through my therapy 
and I think that it is still rather helpful to speak and to talk through your issues because um, it's better to offload it and to get some of the stress off your body because I think it's a little toxic to keep it inside. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I have a eye test that is coming up soon. So I am gonna have to go to the Uxbridge um, Health Center, Central Uxbridge Surgery and get that stuff sorted. So I think that that's that. Um, it was difficult for me to do a mile like about two laps but i think it has been a lot easier now with the with every lap i think it does get relatively more easier to do so i think i'm kind of impressed that i have over four kilometers right now so that's like about four to five laps i think at the end of the five laps it should be about five kilometers including me heading back home so um so i'm on my last lap and i am pretty um proud that i did make it this far because i didn't think that i was gonna even get through two laps to be honest so i think i think me getting to almost five kilometers i think that that's saying something considering I haven't done this for a really long time so I'm gonna say keep motivated keep jogging keep exercising and keep talking through your issues because it does really help and I will see you guys in next time I'm out and about wow I am really impressed with how many laps I've done around the park and i did five kilometers just now so i am pretty happy so that's like about 3.2 miles so i think that's pretty good going considering i haven't done jogging for a little while and i think it is rather difficult to build up the momentum and the stamina to keep going again and I do like the way that I feel after the jog, so I think there is a lot of likelihood that I will be continuing this um, later this week, maybe next week. But yeah, all is going well. And for those of you that have liked this episode so far, please give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And and for those of you that are feeling extra generous, you could buy us a coffee while we do these filmings and it will help us with the YouTube algorithm as well. And we will appreciate it greatly. Well, I am on my way to my yearly diabetic eye screening test that they will be doing for me at the GP surgery. And it is a pretty important thing to monitor the progress of diabetes because things could progress in a negative way so it's always a good thing to keep on track of things even if things aren't what you want to hear I think it's better to know than to not know and I think this is my second time here I think I came here last year, so this is my yearly checkup or re review, so um, so yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but hopefully it isn't going to take too long. It is a really hot summer's day in Oxbridge right now, so let's see how this goes. Well, I was seen pretty quickly. Um, she called me in I put some eye drops in my eye and this is a test that they would do for diabetic patients so this is my once yearly checkup and so that's that so she did call me back to go in after she put in the eye drops 
because she wanted to see how dilated my eyes are because the reason for doing this test is to test um, whether there's any bleeding in the back of my eye which is a clear indication of eye damage because of diabetes. So that's something that they don't want to happen, which is why there is this precaution to do these tests once a year. So I am pretty happy that I have been given the all clear and I will just have to see them again next year. So I think my vision is slightly blurred at the moment. Um, I think that the eye drops, the effects of it could last about four hours at most, but hopefully it should be better by that point. So that's why the nurse said, do not drive any car, which is why I'm walking home right now. And besides, I don't have a car. A very good afternoon to you all. Today is August the 13th and this isn't the normal park that I would jog in. And this is Fastenage Park. My normal park, Rockingham Park, has a lot of sunlight and I predominantly jog in Fastenage during the hot summer months because there is a lot of shade in the area and um, I think it gives you a lot of protection from the sun. I am wearing sunscreen, but I don't really like to get too tanned, as everyone knows. Um, so I haven't been out for a while and I haven't been fit. I've been sitting on my backside, not doing too much exercise um, because we have been away recently so I haven't had the opportunity so I do have the opportunity now although with hindsight I think it would have been a better idea for me to jog in the morning but I think I was too lazy to get up around six o'clock so we are where we are so I am jogging um I think the first lap is always the most difficult I don't know how I managed to do um four kilometers well, this is a combination of walking and running, so it isn't running constantly. So I don't want to give you any false hope, but I think exercise is exercise. And I think it's good that I am deciding to do something about it rather than just sitting on my backside um, watching TV. So as I said, um, I haven't been jogging for quite some time. I think it's been over a week. It might even be as much as two weeks. Um, I think any little exercise that you could do is going to help you in the long run. Um, and I think I am a testament to that. So this is Rockingham Park and it is way too sunny for my liking, which is why I always go to Fastenage Park when there is a lot of sun out because, <laughs> yeah, I think the sun is good and all, but I think it just gets me really um, hot and I don't really want to get too tan. So that's why I go to the other park. And I think by the time I get home, I should have done five kilometers which is a really good thing for me because as I said in the opening I haven't done this for quite some time so come back next time to see whether I keep up with this or not bye for now <laughs> don't cry foul just subscribe to it's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Happy Friday to you. It is August 23rd and I am out for a run. I think it's been a week or two since my last run and it's becoming a bad habit. Um, I was a bit reluctant to come but I think I don't really have much of an excuse.
excuse I got off work and today is one of those days when it is nice and sunny and I don't really have any excuse not to go for a run I think the old me would have been like yeah I think you deserve a rest after a long week at work but I'm trying to be one of those people that do not make any excuses, but let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, the first step was quite difficult. Anytime I don't run for a while, I think when I restart again, it does get a lot harder. So I think it's about building momentum and currently I don't seem to have any momentum. So it is a little difficult to get back into the swing of things and so all I will say is that the first lap was killer and I think the second third is getting better. I think I'm on my fourth lap now so I'm happy about that and I think touch wood I am doing better. Um, I hope to maybe do three kilometers at least like I try to do like maybe four or five laps um yeah it's not the easiest to do sometimes but yeah I think it's better for me in the long run and I don't really want to make excuses for myself and I feel like I don't do it when it's really bad weather outside. So I'm trying to better myself and yeah, that's what I'm at today. Um, I am still going through therapy and therapy has been helping. Bereavement is a strange thing. It's, it is difficult to overcome and I think I'm making progress. Um, sometimes I think I am, but then other times I'm not so sure. Uh, so I think I just have to keep doing it until I feel better. But when is it that I will feel better? I'm not really sure, but let's see how that goes. And I think I need to do more of my jog now. Um, I think I've been talking for quite some time. So let's get back to it. Happy Friday. Today is August the 30th and um, it's a lovely sunny Friday and it's very hot and humid and I got off work and now I am in the park. I have just crossed the three kilometer mark. I think by the time I get back home it should be four kilometers. So I think as I said before <laughs> I think the hardest part is starting it and um, finishing it. No, I basically think it's starting it because it takes the momentum to start. And I feel like I haven't been doing the jogging enough. I think it's only been maybe four or five times this whole month. So that's pretty pitiful. So I think it it could be better. It could be worse, but at least I'm doing something right, so something is better than nothing. So let me enjoy the rest of this um, jog and yeah, I'll post more at a later point. Oh Paul, what big eyes you've got! I am really glad that you like them. All the better to see you with? Yes, of course it is. All the better to see you with. So what's happened today? So I went to John Lewis to get my eye exam to see whether or not I need a new prescription. And I went in, um, the guy saw me, they did the eye test. Um, some of it I have had done before because of my eye issues. So they did the brightness thing. They didn't do the eye pressure because they normally do that for my glaucoma 
or for the other one. Okay, anyhow, my vision didn't really deteriorate much, so... And that's in a five-year period, right? Or six years. So, he said that it was good that I did it, that I didn't necessarily need to get new lenses or frames because it hardly changed. So I am sticking with this one for now. And a happy Monday to you. It is a somewhat cloudy, somewhat sunny day here in Uxbridge and it is September the 9th and this will probably be one of the last times that I will go jogging without any jacket on because I reckon there is going to be a cold snap coming which will ruin all this um, activity and exercise I experience. Um, typically when it gets cooler, colder, wetter, darker, I have a tendency not to do any of this exercise or jogging because A. I'm lazy and B. I'm lazy and I find excuses so hopefully that will not be the case but I am gonna warn you now that this will probably be the case because I know how I get and I do believe that when it is nice and bright-ish outside and everything I shouldn't really complain about getting out and about but I typically do because that's human nature and I know that everyone has a tendency to do that especially me um, all I know is the first lap was difficult the second lap is still difficult this third lap that I'm on that I'm on is still difficult <laughs> I don't know why that is. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think I'm just being lazy and making excuses as always, but I'm trying and I think, I hope I'm kind of motivating you to um, do so as well because it's good for all of us. So keep going, you could do it. I, I know you can because we all can and keep going and don't let my lack of trying not motivate you and hopefully this will instill upon you that even if I can't do it maybe you could do it um I'm almost done about two miles and I think it's it has been a bit of a struggle and I think I might try one more lap and then I'm gonna go home because I think I think I'm just really really lazy and that's in my playbook for sure because I do like to make excuses for myself but I would try to do one more lap so here goes that thing yes I am really <laughs> lazy and that is my last lap that I am doing because I think the feet won't go. No, I I think it's my lack of willpower, to be honest. So, as of right now, I've done about 3.6 kilometers. That's over two miles, but I think by the time you get home, it should be about four kilometers. So, I think it is the effort that counts. It isn't the lack of the trying. So I'm happy with that and yes, um, so I would say something is better than nothing. So. Happy Friday everyone. Today is September the 13th, Friday the 13th and it's unlucky for some but hopefully not for me because I managed to do two laps around this park um, without actually stopping. I think recently I have been stopping because of the lack of fitness, but I was really impressed that I managed to do one lap, much less two, without stopping. I think, 
I would like to say that I am developing some momentum and some stamina. Um, but yeah, I am pretty impressed with myself that I have been able to do so and I didn't think that I would be able to. Um, I wasn't really sure whether I wanted to come jogging today because it's much easier just to sit on my backside at home after finishing work but I'm really glad that I didn't because I've achieved something that I haven't been able to do for donkey years or months maybe. I think that that might be the more accurate um, phrase to say. But I am pretty happy with that and yeah, I think because it is becoming more autumn, not this week or next week because I think that the heat wave is coming back or a heat spell is coming back. But I think it's good to take stock of how we've done through the season and yeah, so that's always good to stay motivated and to press on because I think in the winter time I come up with lots of excuses. I'm not sure about you all but we do do that and it's good to get some um, momentum in and some habits to come out and to do the actual jogging so yeah. Well, I would like to say thank you all for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And even if you do all three of these things, it will help push us up the algorithm chain on YouTube and it will become more available to those of you that want to watch this video. So I thank you in advance for that. And for those of you that are feeling extra generous, you can also buy us a cup of coffee while we are out and about filming these lovely YouTube videos for you all. And for those of you that want to do that, we would be very appreciative of that. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, before I go, I would like to say that I was able to do five kilometers, which is a pretty big deal for me because, yeah, I haven't been able to do a total of five kilometers for a very long time. So that's a very good thing for me. And bye again. Bye.